No one's ever survived dementia. There are no treatments that tackle the disease itself. We need to understand more about the condition. We need to understand how we can treat this disease. We know that research holds the key, and for the research to be able to take place, we need data which doesn't exist. So scientists' lack of data is slowing down research. We thought that maybe we could look at this problem from a different angle. One of the first signs of dementia is that people start losing their ability to find their way around. What makes this project really unique is the combination of cutting-edge science combined with a games design company to reach out to hundreds of thousands of people in an experiment that we couldn't do in a lab. The game is split up into five different themed areas. You're a sea explorer and you're recovering memories for your father. You're going on the journey that he went on and you're doing it in his boat. And as you move around, your position gets relayed back to the scientists and they can see it like a heat map. And that data is used to try and understand on a mass scale how people are navigating around these different mazes. But actually all that data, every little movement they make, every choice they make in that game, it's going to help our research. And the more we can find out about how people find their way around, the better we can understand the problems people might get in dementia. It's a total reinvention of the way this kind of research data is collected, stored and accessed. It's not just engaging, it's also scientifically valid and above all secure. If we can get hundreds of thousands of people to share their time and participate, we can answer questions we could never have dreamed of answering before. By playing this game, they're helping being part of the solution. They're helping us be that little bit nearer to finding those treatments and understanding how we can better diagnose dementia.